Sony laptop, uh, model number VPCE 3F4E. The problem with it was, I had to say was, because I did repair it and I do regret not uh, filming the process of, of repair. Um, but I'll be able to show you uh, uh, what was wrong and the, the fault was on it. Down here where your speaker symbol is, I'll just get a closer close up of it. When you hovered over it, it says a uh, speaker's 100% now. But what it did say uh, was speakers, um, headphone and speakers not connected and it would not play any audio. Yet, if you went into the device manager and looked at the drivers uh, for that uh, particular, uh, uh, for the audio uh, driver, it was uh, installed correctly and it was reporting that it was running okay. And uninstalling it and doing a, a putting an updated uh, driver in it did not uh, fix the fault. And what I found with it was, um, let's just zoom out a little bit. And I have another one of these laptops. Uh, I can just move this out the side. I have one with a faulty motherboard, and it will be the same. Uh, when you're uh, undoing the, the, this uh, disassembling this the only thing you have to watch out for is this uh, when you undo all the screws um, on the bottom on the, ba the base of the unit um, you've also got cables underneath this keyboard that's got to be undone to get at the uh, before you can take out the motherboard and how I do that is I just use this uh, little uh, device here and I would slide it along there and there's little tabs in here these little tabs don't know if you're getting it or not uh, let's see there's a little hole there for uh, a notch on the uh, palm rest and if you go across like that it will come out and then disconnect your cable and then you will be able to get all your your uh, your cable's uh, disconnected. Be careful of this one because it's hit. Um, sometimes there's a piece of uh, piece of tape going across, so you don't see it. So you might damage it. Okay, let's turn it over. And this is the way we're uh, situated. Then, let's see if we've got that in the view. I get it a bit closer and the problem with it was this board here we have a cable that runs up to here and it connects on the bottom of this so when you're taking out disconnecting your board you would be careful about the little switch here for your wireless and this because this does be stuck to the board and when you lift this off you might damage it and I think that's what happened uh, um this it was uh, someone did have a look at this before because the there was screws missing and some screws in the wrong place and um, that would connect into this like so but this this board here is okay but i noticed a slight little bit of damage like someone got a screwdriver and tried to pry it in here and if you look at that if we can get this is the cable out of don't know if you're getting it or not but uh, there is a slight bit of damage on the edge of that uh, connector that damaged and along with the connector slightly damaged uh, this connector here slightly damaged um, every time it went in this connector opened on the uh, original port now there was nothing much I could do about uh, this connector all I could do was um, um, put the new cable in that I got off this old scrap board and uh, I used some uh, tape
I use this tape here and I uh, put it across it and that is holding it in place for me and um, reassembled the unit and started back up again and I have as you can see my speaker say 100% um, let's see if there are any numbers we can get off this cable there's um, What I would be looking for a specific Sony part number, which doesn't uh, doesn't show up. But uh, I don't know if it's getting a dip. That's what's on that label. And I don't know if you're getting that on the audio board. Any numbers there on the audio board? Just so you can search on eBay or on uh, do a Google search. There might be someone selling them. As you can hear, uh, the audio is now working, um, be it not the best of audio, but uh, coming from little speakers like that, I'm not surprised. Um, I hope that's of uh, some help to someone out there to, uh, having a, a go of one of these um, uh, Sony laptops. Uh, if you do get that X symbol telling you the speakers uh, or headphones are not connected, check that cable. It might have been uh, dislodged by someone, especially if it was in for repair. I think the problem with this originally was um, that the fan was going very hard. It was, it was, and someone had a look at it, uh, and they couldn't figure it out. And all that was um, it was the fan was blocked up with dust and dirt. A quick blowout with my with my airline got got that uh, back to its uh, normal operating speed under normal conditions. Uh, but uh, when I uh, tried to disassemble it, then I found. Uh, the large screws for here and here is a uh, large screw for underneath the uh, the actual um, LCD screen there was two small screws sitting in there just being held in with plastic and the large screws were just jammed in here uh, uh, in another in another position and uh, so that tells me there was somebody in there before me Hope that's of some help out there to someone out there and uh, thanks for watching.